In this video, I will show you how you can search for a particular string or a keyword or a pattern among multiple files using Vim. So this concept is, uh, this option is very easily available on other IDs like Visual Studio Code in which you can just go there and enter whatever you want and you can easily get it. Like you put uh, whatever you want to search for, you search and here you will get all the results. So it was very easy to do in VS Code. But on Vim, I was finding it a bit, bit difficult. I didn't know how to do it. So after some research, I found out that the, our best friend in this case is grep. So using grep, I'll show you how you can easily do the same thing in Vim. So let's pick any particular keyword. Let me increase the size so that you can easily see it. Now, if you see, let me pick up any particular string. So let's say I'm um, looking at biometrics, uh, education, any particular keyword. So let that keyword be, uh, let's pick something which might be, yeah. So let's pick up this one, VS baseline PCT. This which you see in line 52, uh, VS baseline PCT. Okay, so let's check for this one only. Let me close this tab and uh, as if I don't know where is it. So how you'll do it is that you'll do grep, provide a recursion flag so that it recursively checks for the keyword among all the files inside all the directories. Now pass the string that you want to check. It was I guess VS baseline PCT. This is as far as I remember this it was it Then the uh, place where you want to do it. So this is the root of the directory. So I'll search it for here Let me see if I can find it. I just hope that I type the correct keyword So it is recursively checking for all the files inside all the directories for just this keyword So it does take some time. Uh, so yes, we see that it is present in all these places. All of these uh, files contain this uh, pattern and on which line number. So you see that all of these places you can find this value. Uh, this is good, but uh, we want it to be traversable. So how we can do this is that once you have searched, so the re result is stored in the quick fix. You can open quick fix easily using P open. Now you see, you can easily check where all you want to, you can find this value. Uh, and also if you want you without even opening it. Uh, so you see that it, it, it is uh, also found on line number 10 in quick fix. You can see that it also checked for the swap files as well. But we don't want to check the soft files for this contents. And in, in some time, I will show how you can restrict it to particular file types. So uh, if you want to browse through all of them, you can obviously open each of it and see. But if you just want to look it uh, on, or on just like that, you can use uh, C next and C previous to browse through all of them. I'll do CN. So here I, I can find it here. Again, I do CN, here I can find it. So I'm browsing through all the files wherever I got this and all the line numbers of all the files. So you can see all of these places, this variable is there. This is possible for any kind of string. I'm doing CN, and also if I do CP, I can go previous. And if I want to close the quick fix, I'll just do C, close. Now it is closed. Now I want to search, uh, restrict this to particular file types. For that, what I'll do is that I'll do grip. Now I'll pass the file type that I want to search. So this I'll tell you first, you will do. So there is a thing called a uh, double star so that it, its side effect is that you can search for it over a particular kind of file and you don't need to pass the minus R flag variable. So what I'll do is that I'll do grip, then the pattern that we were searching for. In this case, uh, we were searching for, uh, as far as I remember, it was V 
baseline PCT. It can be anything. Now I'll pass the file types. I'll do star star slash star slash star slash star dot go. So I've restricted it to dot go kind of files. This star star slash star makes it recursive to search through all the files so that you don't need to pass minus r flag variable. And here you go. So now you'll see that the response should be, I guess there was something wrong, uh, but let's check. Now if I open the quick fix, so you see that no, it is it isn't populated. So maybe we did something wrong here. Oh, we passed minus n flag variable. So it was not supposed to be that. Let's do it again. What it was, it would be grep, then the pattern. So the pattern is we were searching for. Uh, oh, sorry, it was vs, not v based then. It was vs based then. So we passed the long uh, wrong argument. Maybe there was so there was no match for it vs baseline pct we can search for any other variable as well but let's stick to this one because we can then compare again the pattern star star slash star dot go so the above one that you see it even matched for the swap files but now if you see this so you'll see that it only matched for dot go files only here you can see that it even check match for the soft files and if our this code base is mostly written in go so uh, it was all go but there were one exception but now you can see that you restricted it to all the go files again i can open my uh, quick fix and all the results are cached here i can do cn cn to browse through all of it so this is how you can check all of the files are on also if you go to this window you can just do up down and open whichever file you want so it's all up to you how you want to do it c close to close the quick fix so this is how you can search easily using grep there are multiple options using which you can search as well like silver searcher vim grep many options are there but this is very intuitive and you don't need any extra installation. If you're in a Unix system, you might be having grep installed already. So there's nothing else that you need to install. I hope this was useful. Thank you so much.